you had a New Year's resolution to declutter, organize, clean up your home, and you have been working for the last month and a half to get your house all set up and become a tidier person and everything is going great until you realize your family still lives there, then this is for you. Well, if this is your first time stopping by, I am so glad that you are here. My name is Katie. I'm a mom of eight and I share all about our life here on YouTube. So in my house, I live with a whole lot of kids, occasionally some extra people. Uh, I have ADHD and sensory processing disorder also present in my home and a lot of very visual organizers, including myself and my husband. We are both visual people. I used to get really frustrated that none of my tidying up would last and that none of my organizational skills actually made any difference in our home and I quickly learned that the key was to work with my family and not against them. Now I mentioned this in a mom hack video last year, but today I wanna just give you some very practical examples of how I do this with organizing in our home in hopes that you get some great ideas. So if you like home organizing for busy families, give this video a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe to catch more and let's jump into it. So first let's talk about my kitchen counters. I'm sorry the lighting in is here is terrible. It's actually this terrible in real life too. Now, our kids get their own breakfast independently. I would come downstairs every morning and there would be multiple like bags and loaves of bread that were open and spilled all over the counter and every single jar of peanut butter because we have creamy peanut butter and crunchy peanut butter and almond butter and all of the things and everything would be open all over the counter and I would have to come in close everything tuck it away in the pantry and nobody ever nobody else ever put anything away and it was always on me and so I decided you know what they're not going to put it away so what I did instead was I got these big baskets that fit our giant large family tubs of peanut butter um, as well as my husband is a marathon runner so he's got his Gatorade and his protein powder here that would also get left out all the time uh, so I got these baskets that just perfectly fit these tubs these live out here on our counter and uh, it's amazing when it's not behind a closed door people put them back in there. So if you prefer your counters absolutely pristinely clear, is this ideal? No. Is it better than having open jars of peanut butter on every surface? Yes. Similarly to the peanut butter and uh, protein powder, we homeschool and so for me, I am usually checking my instructor's guide, which I have videos all about our homeschool our curriculum and how I use my instructor's guide. I will link those down below if you're interested. But I would use my kitchen as my home base because I'm in here doing snacks and meals and stuff all the time. We do have a school room. It is mostly for school storage. We don't usually sit in there to do school. Um, and then we do a lot of reading on the couch and a lot of uh, like paperwork on our kitchen table and so I would use my kitchen as home base for my instructor's guide making lists and things like that and then move throughout my house oh thank you she drew me a picture so I'd use my kitchen as home base and move throughout my house as needed but what would happen is when it was time for me to use the stove or um, get stuff out in the kitchen or be meal prepping or whatever I would just stack all my stuff here on top of the microwave <laughs> Um, and then the stack would just sort of grow and get super messy. And so I wanted everything to be very easy to access, um, but not get out of control. So enter this basket um, where I can see everything very easily, but it stands up and files in here and I don't have to go looking for it. And it all stays contained and neat and there's not stuff sliding over or getting pushed off or lost. Um, so I keep what I use every day. Now the rest of our books and curriculum and stuff that I don't need hands on at all times are still in our schoolroom. They still go there. And so I have that longer term storage, but my everyday like master plan is right here in my kitchen where I reach for it, but neat and contained. In the same vein, one of my goals um, as I've been organizing our house and reorganizing our house and going through things is to think how can I make this extremely easy for my family to put away 
similar to like the peanut butter baskets on the kitchen counter, I had a problem with piles of blankets on the floor or on the couch in our living room. Now, we love these blankets. They are nice and cozy. The kids use them daily. They are definitely a frequent flyer in our house. They love to cuddle up on the couch with a blanket and read a book or use them to play games and whatnot but they were always all over the house and they were driving me crazy. And so I ordered this little uh, side table. Now this is from Target. It was like 40 bucks. It is from the Pillow Fort Kids line. So it's meant to be like a kid's accessory, but it works really great for this application. So the lid comes off. It's just a giant basket. It is full of blankets and the lid slides back on easy peasy even my three-year-old can do it and so this has become it's a side table next to this easy chair uh, in our living room couch is right here next to me so these are easily accessible but equally as easy to put away and I can hand any child in my house a blanket and say we'll put this in the table and they know how to do it and how to put it back and so making things just as easy to put away as they are to access has been incredibly key in getting our home organized. Let's talk about the front entryway. This is a pain point for a lot of people. Now I will note that we homeschool so we don't have like backpacks and school supplies and all of that coming in our front door every day. So disclaimer there. Uh, but we do have a lot of people and a lot of shoes and a lot of jackets. Instead of trying to get racks where you have to like file your shoes in there, what I did as I got these great big giant plastic bins from Target. I will link these if I can find them as well as something similar on Amazon if you don't have Target near you. Um, and I put everybody's letter on it and these just sit in a row on the floor as you come in our front door so that all anybody has to do is kick their shoes off into the bin. Um, there is no filing or sorting or placing necessary, you can just kick them in. Now, this bench that I am sitting on used to get piled up with everybody's jackets and sweatshirts and hoodies and all of the things, right? Yeah. And it was driving me kind of crazy. So I bought these stick on hooks from Amazon that I put up on the wall in our front entryway. I use my Cricut Joy machine to label everybody's names above their hooks and so their coats and our most used hoodies can just go directly on those hooks. So when they come in the door, there's no extra step. They don't have to open anything. We have a fantastic coat closet directly inside our front door. If it involves opening a door and closing it, nobody will do it. So the coat closet is used for other things, including our socks. And I will link to that video where I talk about the socks, but the coat closet is used for other things not primarily our coats. Coats, shoes, and dog leashes all have a spot to hang directly as you walk inside the door and there are no extra steps uh, for getting things put away. And when you take away the extra steps and the extra requirements, it is much easier for everyone to put things away, right? Do you put things away? Yeah. Yes. So I'm here at my kitchen table and one of the things that we do is we use these Yay. refillable water bottles instead of cups. You can see mine says mama bear. Now I talked in my mom hacks video about how I label these water bottles even though they are all different colors. Um, because even though each kid knows what color their water bottle is, sometimes they forget who, what color everybody else's are. And this helps us know whose are whose especially for the ones that are very similar in color. The thing new that I have done is I've realized that my kids are better at putting things away if not only the thing itself is labeled, but where it belongs. This uh, caddy is from Hobby Lobby. This lives in the middle of our table. This also makes it really easy to take them off of the table if we need to, but what I did is I went through and I also labeled a spot for everybody to put their water bottle. So the labeled water bottle goes in the labeled spot and you know what? They get put away. It's like magic. I did the same thing with my kids' bath towels upstairs. Along the same lines as the water bottles, one thing that I have done in their bathroom is to label their towels. So they all have these nice big bath sheet size matching towels and I have put their first initial 
on each one because every single kid in my house knows each other's first initials, including my three-year-old. So their towels all have their initials on them, but more importantly, besides just the towels, hello. Hi. Besides just their towels being labeled, I've actually, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, because they're pretty light, their letters above their towel hooks. I have this big, long row of towel hooks in their bathroom. So not only do they know which towel is theirs, but they know where to put it away. Along the mirror here, which the mirror is kind of gross, so I won't show you everything. These are command hook razor caddies. Um, they have the command strip that goes on the wall, or in this case, the mirror. And these razor caddies that fit onto them. And I've used my Cricut to put their first initial on them. And these are for their toothbrushes and or toothpaste. They all kind of have whatever combination they need. Um, but again, there's not toothbrushes all over my counter. There's not toothpaste tubes all over my counter. They have a visual designated contained place to go. So what I have done with our toys is I have gone through and created categories of things that my kids play with often and removed everything else. Now some of those things have been removed so that we can rotate them out. So when they get out a new set of toys, they have to put an old one away. And I've just gotten rid of a lot of stuff that doesn't fit within a certain category. I also no longer buy toys that require new ecosystems or new categories to fit into. Um, I only will get, like for birthdays and Christmas and things like that, I will only get toys that fit within our current ecosystem. So Duplos are a big, big hit. We actually have three of these giant baskets full of Duplos. But again, big categories, uh, broad buckets. So like this is all of the toy food and dishes and stuff that go with the pretend kitchen. Um, there we have cars and vehicles. This is a calm down, so stress balls, poppets, um, sensory bottles, that kind of thing go in here. Anything that they would use to sort of calm down. Again, I have ADHD and sensory processing disorder in my house, so um, we need stuff like that. Um, but having these big, broad picture label categories means that I can send my kids in here with the general directive to go clean the playroom and they can do it without help or direction. Now, do I still help them? Sometimes, do I still give them direction? Yes, especially when they're tired, they need a like, hey, you get all the cars, you put books back on the shelf. Um, but in general, they can do it on their own. Um, so this has been a huge help. And so downstairs, I do have other baskets um, that some of them I'm still working on labeling, honestly. <laughs> but if they wanna swap a system or a category, they can take the entire bucket, fill it up, and carry it downstairs and swap it for a different one. I love these um, extra large Sterilite laundry baskets for this, and they do fit within the Ikea shelf. Um, so I will leave those uh, linked down below for you if you would like to try something similar. Let's talk for a minute about pets and pet care. Uh, we have 10 animals in our house and they almost entirely belong to my kids. One of the dogs is mine, but everybody else belongs to someone else. And so um, I do make my kids take care of their own animals and clean up after them and feed them regularly. And yes, do I oversee it and make sure that it all gets done and all the animals are healthy and well cared for. Yes, I do. But I also think it's good for kids to learn how to do these things and to have their responsibility. So let's talk about these pets. This is Mr. Tango behind me. He is a budgie parakeet and uh, the true king of this castle. But one of the things that I have done directly below Tango are uh, the bunnies in their home base. Um, and yes, we do let the bunnies out and let them run and get some exercise and whatever, but their home base to make sure that they are safe from all the other chaos in our house is this hutch down here. One of the things that I have done to help make it really easy for my kids to be responsible for their own animals is to put the animal food 
directly with the animals enclosures so that they're not running around the house looking for things stuff doesn't get left out or moved around or dumped over whatever so our rabbit food again it's labeled is here directly above the bunnies there's also an extra box for hay where they can load it um, a couple days worth from our bigger hay bin and the bird food is right here with the bird same thing for the dog food is directly next to the dog bowl and the guinea pig food is directly by the guinea pigs high rise if you have ever found yourself pulling your hair out over lego storage you need to watch my video about family friendly kid friendly lego storage i have an entire video dedicated to how i completely overhauled our lego storage and why i did it the way that i did it um, so please check that out but I cannot tell you how thrilled I have been with the Lego solutions. Now, yes, it does require some maintenance. I do occasionally have to send my kids into their Lego bins and shelves to um, sort through and purge out what they're done with and kind of set things back to normal. But with the Legos out and visible and labeled and having a designated display location in our home has made absolutely an entire world of difference. The Legos are both accessible and easy to put away. So I will link that video down below. Be sure to check it out. It is worth your time if you have ever found yourself frustrated over Lego storage. I do have a Cricut Joy machine that I use to make most of these labels. It is an investment, I understand, I get it. But if you can swing it, I do highly recommend it because it is just so handy. And the Joy Machine in particular works with an app on your phone and it is Bluetooth connected. So you don't need to like get out your computer. Now I do have a bigger Cricut machine that I use for like our company's marketing materials and t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, but for every day around our house, the Joy is ideal because it is small, it is portable, and it has a function on the app called Quick Labels. So if I wanna make, for example, all my kids' names to put on their coat hooks or their water bottles or their towel hooks, I can just type in each of their names in a row, select the font style, and it will automatically create all of their names and cut them out. And then all I have to do is weed the vinyl and transfer them on to what I'm doing. So I will leave a link to the Cricut Joy Machine down below. I highly recommend it. And um, it has just been so helpful in getting all of these things done. So those are some of the ways that I organize my own large family to be friendly for ADHD, kids, and visual organizers. And I have to say, they've made a huge difference in our ability to keep our house picked up and cleaned. And so I hope that you have found something helpful for you and your family. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite one was and if there's any that you're gonna give a shot in your own home. Be sure to subscribe for more large family life, living, home, hacks, all the things. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. You are worth your own hard work. We'll see you again soon. Bye.